chances are you're going to be hitting the road pretty soon. And to make sure that trip across town or a vacation doesn't go flat, we have with us our own Brian Bowersock to do some very preventive medicine for your car. Good morning, Brian. Good morning. Glad to be here. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it because you always give us these great inside tips. Now, this topic today has some special interest to me because I recently had a trip to the tire shop. Tell us when should we get those tires checked or rotated? You should actually, uh, tires should be rotated between six and 8,000 miles okay. on regular intervals. Um, the air should be checked on them regularly, at least every oil change, okay? Because it's one of those things that we don't think about. We always think our tires are just going to hold up. Well, correct. And uh, you should have your tires checked by a professional. We've brought some examples, obviously, mm -hmm. in here of, of bad tires. Um, some of these tires from the outside of the car, if you were just looking at them, would look just fine. Yeah, that one doesn't seem to have any problem. It doesn't with seem to have a lot of problem. But what, what's happened with this vehicle, and there's different examples here. This is a vehicle that uh, had a bad alignment. And, it, and if you see the line here, I know it's kind of hard to see, and that's why I have it kind of whited out. This area. What's happened is the tire tread has been pushed to one side, and this tire is actually starting to separate. Okay. So to a normal person, this would look like a good tire still. But uh, it can actually uh, bl blow out, you know, on an extended dip or something like that. You can end up with tire damage from a cord separating on it. So even though this looks bad, this still, I mean, when we look at these, you go, okay, this is a problem. This could be slippery, but this one could blow right. out too. This one can blow out too because what's happened with the alignment, it's been pushing on the outside of the tire and it's caused the cord to start to separate. Okay. And when that happens, then the tire integrity obviously breaks down and comes apart. Um, we have another one here. This is really bad cupping. You would actually feel this driving. If you run your finger, you feel how it goes yeah. up and down, up and down. Um, and it's also feathered really bad. And you'd feel this driving, but this, this tire here is also destroyed. And, and this is something that would alignment would have to be dealt with at the same time of replacing tires, okay. which alignments obviously are, are uh, a real good uh, deal for your car too. It should be done yearly or every 30,000 miles in alignment to keep that from happening. And now, even I can figure on this that. one out. Yeah, watch finger on that. <laughs> oh, Those, yeah, that these, the cords on these will often can cut you. This tire was actually uh, really bad alignment components and wore out the inside. Now this is on the inside of the tire. So looking at the outside, somebody may not see this mm -hmm. unless they're having their vehicle serviced by somebody to take a look at it and let them know, hey, your tire's coming apart. And we see that often. And, and then the last tire down here, what we have is we have, this tire was overinflated. Okay. See how the tread on the outside is pretty good? Yeah, it looks fine. Well, on the inside, it's worn out in the very center. And the reason why it's been overinflated its entire life. So this, this tire has been worn out from improper uh, tire pressure, which is very important, obviously, for tire life. Okay, this tire seems to be the most important one for me because I would think I'm fine on this one. Do you, you said you had some sort of a test that you can show that even I can look at well, and figure out that there's, there's no a problem. Well, there's no real test on these tires to determine this that's difficult. What, what you can do is measure tread depth, and, and two things, there's little cards that they make that actually have a red and yellow and green zone, but 230 seconds is the farthest you can run a tire down. So once the tire gets 230 seconds, it's got to be replaced. Okay. In other words, if Lincoln's whole head shows up when you stick it in, yeah. then the tire's no good, because okay. Lincoln's, the top of Lincoln's head is 230 seconds on a penny. And I'm okay. sure everybody's well, heard that enough. before. Well, Correct. not me. <laughs> <laughs> so that helps out. All right, and really quickly, I wanted to ask you about, I recently had an experience where I had insurance on my tire. They said that it couldn't be fixed, and then when I explained to them I had insurance, then suddenly it was able to be fixed. Give us some red flags real quickly that people should look for. Um, red flags are you should never um, plug a sidewall of a tire. It is fine to plug or patch if you get a nail in the tread, but any Anytime the sidewall is damaged on a tire, it is, is not a repairable option all right. at all. Up on our screen are just some things that people need to check out pretty quickly. Every 3,000 miles, as you said, they should check. Have them rotated six to 8,000 miles. Correct. And then at the very last, uh, the alignment also has to be checked as well. Should be done uh, every 30,000 miles or once a year, depending on you know how much you drive. All right, Brian, thank you for making sure that we're safe out there on no the road. Problem. We appreciate all your advice. And if you'd like more information, just log on to our website at fox6.com. You can also ask Brian your own questions right there. Stay with us. We'll be right back.